Having talked about needing to get statistical significance and um, factors in designing studies, probably ought to mention that sometimes you've got a different type of study, so it's not always needed. There are other types which you, there might be pilot studies or what might be defined as proof of concept studies. And in these cases, then you're, you're not actually looking for statistical significance. So you want to be sure that uh, sort of what the purpose of your study is before deciding that you do want to actually prove a result or do you just want to sort of do some of these things, which means that you don't have to kind of have enough animals or data points to get statistical significance. So some examples might be, you might need to just do a, a small study to get familiar, familiarity with the experimental procedures, find out that nothing's going to go wrong, give you an opportunity to refine the approach, test the logistics. Might be that you've got staff that are new to this type of research and they need to be trained in the, in the methods. You might just need to do a, a few of this a new treatment to make sure that it's not unsafe. Or it might be that it's important to sort of do a sample size estimate, but you've no idea how variable the data are. So you might just do a very small study to get a feel for how variable the data are. In these cases, you're not sort of really needing to have a powerful study that's aiming to achieve statistical significance. However, it still is important, particularly if you're using animals, to perhaps justify how many um, that you need to achieve some of these objectives, you know, how many to just get familiar with procedures, do you need one animal or do you actually, can you justify that you, you might need sort of three or four animals?